So now we are ready to set up the JavaScript library. And so I created a, a new project here. So this is probably what your new project looks like when you have nothing. And you want to start by getting the token from you click account, you go through all your projects and you get the token, you get a unique identifier. And I just created uh, a few, uh, uh, I checked just a couple of HTML files here. You can see this is a very basic structure. And what, what we want here is we want to add the mix panel JavaScript library at the top in the head of the HTML file, as you can see here. And you want to copy and paste your token here, as I have. And this is what this page looks like. So we can see that we're loading the, the mix panel library. No, we, well, it won't really see it, but we're, we're loading the mix panel library. And now we're ready to send events to mix panel. Now, you can also use something like segment, uh, segment.com to track uh, to set up your mix panel and they kind of they make it easy to try out different tools and send the same data directly to different analytics tools so if you're trying out different libraries or if you have plans to eventually use other snippets so some something like retargeting like adro or facebook ads or any anything else segment can make really easy to just have one single thing and just turn on and turn off inter integrations uh, the only downside of course then you have to use a lot of the things you, can, you have to use a segment kind of code to track things and you can still do mix panel events directly it's just a little bit more of a couple extra steps if you're running into issues you can get maybe a little bit more complicated for mix panel support to help you out but other, other than that if you just want to use mix panel straight just get the library into the how your document and we are ready to send events to mix panel